After losing hundreds of Dallas police officers over the last several years, a new study of DPD calls for the department to now become more efficient. On Monday, we know next week, council members are going to be briefed on that subject matter, plus a new three-year contract for police officers and firefighters. Jack Fink with a preview and some thoughts on all this. The KPMG report says one major concern within Dallas PD is that officers feel as if they can't be proactive in reducing crime. Quote, staff attributed their lack of capacity to be proactive with the recent reductions in staffing. We do agree that staffing levels could be increased in some areas with the right type of staff. But even so, the report said the department needs to become more efficient. Quote, a realignment of strategy, goals, mission and tactics would yield the highest return to the DPD even above and beyond an increase in staffing. Council member Jennifer Gates welcomed the study. Is it tells us how to optimize the current staff that we have in place. It comes as council members are set to vote on a budget that spends $53 million more for police and fire, much of it for a new three-year contract. Under the new agreement, starting police officers and firefighters would be paid more than $61,000, an increase from the $60,000 they received in January, which is far higher than before. The agreement also focuses on retaining DPD officers who've been with the force 7 to 15 years. Many of them have left for higher paying departments. Do you think that's going to change? Yeah, I think, I think we're going to keep more officers than, you know, the, those 200 officers that we would normally retire every year. I think we're not going to lose 200. I think more will stay longer. Council members will have to give final approval to the police and fire contracts. No word on what action they will take about the staffing study. In Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Jack, we appreciate it. Thank you.